Vetkin's face is red. Is he getting his ass whooped and sparring? That's the rumor. Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. And five. Let's look into it. Four, three, two, one. Well, you can hate him for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. All right. Okay. Now, thank you for tuning in. This is the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. Mr. Ars? No, no. No, not that guy. Now, that's it's everyone's making a nice fuss about the redness of Alexander's Pavekin's face. And you know, in the you know, in the era of YouTube boxing channels and everything, everyone's gone with the nice clickbait titles. Pavek and getting his ass whipped. And of course, they're using Daniel Dubois' name because he's standing next to him. And Daniel Dubois is probably the only one that people know. You know, not the other four sparring partners who probably could just equal hit just as hard, but no. Everyone's going out there making some clickbait titles saying Daniel Dubois is roughing up Alexander Povetkin. Not of Vlad Sharinko, who just fought on the 26th, who's in boxing shape, who's 9 0. You know, not him. He Definitely not him. Or the 6 9, 8 0 with 6 KOs. Alexander, 8 0 with 6 KOs. Dubois is 8 you know, with 8 KOs, but this guy is 6'9", who has a fight coming up on the 14th. He's in fighting shape, but not he, why would he? Why would he hurt Alexander? There's Daniel Dubois. This this six foot nine guy can't do it, only Daniel Dubois. Then you got Peter Malice, who's a 12 and 0, with 10 KOs. That don't sound like a power. Only Daniel Dubois. You know, and what's funny is Peter Malice recently stopped Kevin Johnson due to a cut, but he stopped him. And who's getting ready to fight Kevin Johnson? Daniel Dubois. So they're probably in there, you know, sharing some information. And then you got uh, Vlad, the amateur. You know, thanks to Boxing Square, you know, I was able to learn about Vlad that he was uh, in the ring in the sparring camp with uh, Klitschko so he's he's he got some pop you know I'm pretty sure he got some pop but he's a he's more of a probably a a skillful a skillful act he's probably in there as a informationist to see what they were training for Joshua but those other four Vlad, Alexander, Peter, and Danny Dubois. Those motherfuckers all got pop. But of course, everyone's going with the clickbait title saying Dubois Triple D is whooping Povetkin's ass. Look at the redness on his face. Blah, blah, blah. He's bruising black eyes. My personal opinion on this I think it's all bullshit. You know, now, is it sparring? Yes. Are they hitting Povetkin? Yes, they are hitting him. But that retin on the face, I think it's all bullshit. My personal opinion, what that retinus is, and I've seen this for 15 years plus as a Peyton Manning fan. Peyton Manning used to wear his football helmet so damn tight that when he took it off, the, the cushion in the helmet left retinus all over his face. I think Provekin just got a tight ass headgear on. And him being a very fair pair, fair skinned Russian, that fucking 
headgear is so tight you see a red bruising on his face and so when he's getting hit in the the, the, the gear it's making it worse but I don't think he's getting beat up in sparring part by his sparring partners are they touching him yeah everyone gets touched in sparring does he have a little black eye whatever it, it could be that type of, like I said black eye whatever I don't think he's getting beat up that whole redness in the face is just a tight ass headgear to me you know just the same way I've seen it for 15 plus years as Peyton Manning fan. When he took off that helmet, he never got sacked, but he had a fucking red bruising all over his face from a tight ass helmet. And I think Pavekin just has a tight head care. But of course, it makes too much sense to have that. Everyone who wants to do a clickbait title and get the views and say Danny Dubois is beating Pavekin's ass. I don't think that's true. Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A.